Hi folks, I'm Sean Crisden, and I had the delightful fortune to be the narrator for American Dreamer, the debut novel from Adriana Herrera, uh, a book that is a romance novel that deals with all of the classic themes of love and passion and uh, striving for against all odds, but it, it has some a few elements that are rather close to my heart. Um, it focuses around Ernesto, who is a Dominican American, who is striving to achieve success for his business with his food truck in upstate New York. And he ends up meeting a librarian named Jude, who is a white American, and hijinks ensue. I don't want to give you too much away, but it's, it's a fascinatingly well-written story that brings into play um, the elements of the importance of culture and the idea of honoring culture in the grand scheme of things, especially here in America, uh, and how culture plays a role into the melting pot that is America and makes the sum greater than its parts. And the experiences that individuals bring, in this case, particularly Latinx individuals, bring to uh, the, the canvas that is America. In fact, uh, American Dreamer is a, a fine title for the story as the American Dream uh, and how it presents itself to all of us from our varying backgrounds is, is front and foremost in the story. And it, it's also how the overreaching theme of the book, where you have these two disparate en entities coming together to make something great, uh, not just culturally, but in terms of these individuals reaching each other romantically, uh, really, really makes the book work really well. Uh, I, and one word of advice for you, do not read the book hungry. Because Nesto has a food truck and there's food. And if, if you've had just Afro-Caribbean food, I had the great fortune of being married in Punta Cana. And oh boy, and I'm also a former East Coaster now living in the desert. So I do miss New York and Philadelphia, the food. But yeah, the, just going down the menu, you can... Oh man, you can smell it. Oh, so it's it's really uh, a delight to read uh, for not just the usual reasons, but also for some extra <laughs> tidbits if you like to eat, like I do. So it's it's really uh, a, a fabulous book. I, I was so thrilled to narrate it. Um, and one scene that I talk about, I'll try not to give it away. No spoilers. Uh, is where Jude basically uh, achieves a reconciliation of sorts with his sister. Uh, which a lot of folks will say, well, what was the, what part of the book stayed with you the most? It was really that. And it was really the, the entire concept of it. Uh, just trying to understand forgiveness and, and redemption and acceptance and finality. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get away. I don't want to ruin it. But if this is definitely something that sounds like it's up your alley, I would urge you to pick it up and give it a try. And hopefully you'll enjoy listening to it as much as I enjoy narrating it and as much as I absolutely believe Adriana enjoyed writing it.